so um some mistakes were made if you didn't know, if you didn't know already um i made a video of this talking about the very very weird beacon setup that this thing had so that was the first time it was ever used now then let me tell you um a story of a tower with um with with um beacons that were never maintained so yeah um at that time i believe that it had uh a flash technology dual strobe, aka um, uh, FTB324 dual strobe on top of the tower with um, box strobes and incandescence um, um, in the middle of the tower. Well, um, that's that's what Anchor 10 told me um, because he thought it was just a, a dual strobe that was on backup night mode. But it turns out that um, he looked at he looked at uh, some picture of this and um, found out that the top of the that the beacons at the top um, was not a um, was not a flash technology dual strobe. It was a flash technology single strobe with a modern incandescent uh, above it. So yeah, there's that. So it's not that weird like I thought it was. But this still has box strobes. This thing is not over 700 feet. It's not a TV tower either. It's really really weird but I do know smaller towers that have box strobes on it what they have box strobes on them like um like um I think um I think they're um like um I think once um, under 200 feet even though it still has working beacons and they're and they're box strobes as well and I, I haven't seen that video in a while it's probably lost on my history so I can't find it again and um why is Aiden showing me uh um a small tower um, in Florida, I think, that had um, box strobes on it. Even though it looked pretty, pretty, pretty small, it was really, really small, smaller than this. Like um, it's probably the size of um, um, like it's it was smaller than this little uh, from the, uh, the it was smaller than this little tower here, but it still had box strobes on it, and only box strobes. There wasn't anything else on it. No incandescents or red or LED beacons. So yeah, there's that. Um, so yeah, the incandescent beacons are dead, sadly. So um, um, the beacon, uh, the 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 top the this top strobe light um, it, it goes on its separate night mode, which is white, which is a, a slower, well actually um, a quick flash night mode, while these box strobes are, are stuck on day mode. And yeah, it's. It's kind of it's kind of like taking a shower with cold water. That's what that's what this this is what it reminds me of. Like just taking a shower with cold water. That's um the yeah that's the equivalent to this. Like you you are able to have hot water. There's a hot water knob, but you're out of hot water. The hot water knob is supposed to be the incandescent beacons. And guess what? They don't work. And the cold water is supposed to be the strobes, which are only good um. Uh, day mode strobes are only good during the day, unless that they're bu unless that they're white only. So um yeah, there's that. So yeah, some mistakes were made and all that. This here, see um the be the um whoever was maintaining these beacons did a very very horrible job. Yeah, um yeah. If you didn't, I already told you this already in the video, but um the top strobe. It goes on its separate night mode. It only shines white, and the box strobes are stuck on day mode. It's the equivalent of taking a cold shower. So yeah, um, yeah, there's that. So um, yeah, that, that's going to be all for this video. See you guys later. Bye.